Hercules Beetle. Yay! Hercules Beetle! Wait, why is that even here? Oh, I asked someone about that earlier. It's like lionfish and shag carpet or something. Oh, yes, Payasi's Samba. that sofa stuffed with? Sofa stuffing. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, what? Does this have anything to do with the investigation? Uh, no. Oh, two. Well, of course it would be two cups. Three cups would be a nightmare. Date, why are you asking that? Uh, no, sorry. But I did see a guy who had legs like a horsehair crab. What? Sounds horrifying. Sometimes we would talk when I came over to hang out. What kind of things did you talk about? Nothing special. The usual? The usual? Are you doing well? Have you been eating right? Huh. So that's the usual. Mizuki, could you go to the office? Ask them if they've seen anyone with an injured left leg. Got it. Looks like it didn't go well. No.
good idea. You might find something important in there. Damn, no hits. Do not be discouraged. Bad days and sore feet are part of the job. Time to earn my paycheck, I guess. Huh? Why are we at the shrine? Did you come here to pray that you find the criminal? No, I don't believe in God. Wow, how edgy teen of you. And don't call me a teen. You're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. That's not even remotely similar. So why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. What does it say? When riding on a train, people on opposite sides of the car doors shouldn't stare at each other. That's what it says. That is definitely a lie. Mr. Bell? Mrs. Bell. I see you two are getting along well. Hey, Mizuki. Do you think you could fit your hand into the box there? Hey, Date! Are you really a cop? Why do these dog statues always have one with its mouth open and one with its mouth closed? Good question. Maybe the one with his mouth open is going, ah, and the one with his mouth closed is going, um. <sighs> Are you fake sleeping?
Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Yeah. It's been a while since we came here last. I have nothing more to teach you. Let us see the results of your training. Leave it to me! Begin! Well, this is on you. Huh? Hey! What are you two doing? Mizuki! Run for it! Uh, wait for me! By the way, whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? Oh, did I not tell you? No, you haven't said anything about it. I didn't want to pry. They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened to fight back. They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. So I... I broke all their front teeth. Jeez. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on! What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. And you? <laughs> it's a secret. When you tell people your wish, it won't come true. Then why did you ask me? Because if your dream doesn't come true, mine is more likely to. You're more crooked than a hernia. Huh? Anyway, where to next? This is where Iris and Ota almost got killed, right? It gives me goosebumps. You scared? That's rare. You need to chill. You need to get better jokes. Oh, I understand. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Don't explain it, it's embarrassing.
What would happen if I put you in that box and then soaked it in gasoline and then lit it on fire? I'd die, obviously. Well, you couldn't fit me in the box anyway. Oh. I'll just cut you into pieces then. What would happen if I put you in that box and then dropped a five-ton weight on it? I'd die, obviously. Jeez, do you want to kill me? I would collect a lot of insurance. Could I have your jacket? Oh, wait, never mind. That jacket probably hasn't been washed in years. Who said I'd give it to you anyway? Don't disregard good intentions so casually. Mizuki is a quick thinker. You are her father figure now. You should praise her so she matures. I don't want her to mature. She's trouble enough as it is. Huh? What do you mean? This is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I know you said Renju doesn't own it or anything, but... I thought maybe you might have seen it before. No, not at all. Really? Yes, stop being annoying. Why would I lie about that? The polar bear. Where did he hurt his leg? He did get hurt, right? The boss lady said so. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. That's right. The polar bear must have been bleeding badly at this warehouse. That means... <laughs> oh, wait. I remember. It was Kagami, right? What did you say? Oh, sorry, my fault. Must be mistaken. No. No! You're exactly right! Wow. What's the matter with you? Sorry, I just get so emotional sometimes. Date, this guy is kind of weird. You're right, Mizuki. Stay away. Huh? What? There are a lot of weirdos out there. If you get a bad feeling, trust your instincts and don't get too close. Yeah, I'll be careful. Hey! This might sound weird coming from me, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? Thank you for caring. It means a lot. Huh? I'm sorry. I just totally forgot. Date, sir? Hmm? What is it? This is how it's supposed to be. A man like you doesn't have to remember the names of people like me. But we're co-workers. We both work for the MPD. Isn't it rude to not remember your name? No, no, not at all. It has to be this way. All right, if you say so. Well, I don't dislike it. Of course, depending on the case, sometimes it does get pretty discouraging. But that just makes the job all the more important, right? It means it really makes a difference in the world. You're a great guy. You should learn from him. Do you know why I do this job? What keeps me going? I heard
heard you became a cop so you could steal underwear from the gym and not get in trouble. Who told you that? I'll show them trouble. No, not so far. Yeah, you're right. Maybe in a previous life we... Taro. You must be Taro, right? No, I'm not Taro. Ota was down around here, right? Correct. The bloodstains there must belong to Ota. Correct. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. Date, I've analyzed the blood. The blood stain here is not from a single person. Two different blood types are present. One of them is most likely Ota's. The other... Hey, do you have DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear back. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. You did it, Date. We're making progress. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. But it might take some time for the results to come out. No point waiting here. We might as well check somewhere else. Got it. I guess it was a waste of time. Yeah, I didn't find any clues. one is your type, Date? Where is this coming from? Just tell me. Well, let's see. Wow, you're really thinking about it? Disgusting. You asked.
Ryugu water, 980 yen. 980 yen? Yep. For water? Not just water, seawater. You can't even drink it. Really? Because this is where Daddy's corpse was? I told you before, it's fine. I was the one who said I wanted to come with you, so... Yeah, nothing we can do here. Mizuki! And Date. Ota, are you okay? Yeah, totally. Oh, I don't want to get in your way. I should head home before I cause any more trouble. No, not at all. You're fine right here. No, really, I should go. I'm sure that he has more fun with his friends than with me. So... Thanks, Mizuki. Huh? You came to visit me, right? Oh, yeah. Right. It would be awkward to admit we are only here for the investigation. Yeah. I know this is sudden, but... I'm brave and smart and handsome, right? I will chide you on your labels. A bedside table. Hey, Date! I've got this video of a lady cleaning a jumbo jet. Wanna watch? I'm not gonna watch your videos with you, Ota. Come when Iris is sleeping beside me. My guess is never. The nurse was talking about her a minute ago. That she's still in the ICU? Yeah. Uh, apparently the surgery went well, but she hasn't woken up yet. Hey, Ota. 
Next time we should fold a thousand paper cranes. To wish that Iris will get better. Yeah. We could even make her a life-size crane. That would be a somewhat troublesome gift. I heard that you fought off the killer and saved Iris. That's so cool, Ota. You have a wound of honor. No, not really. Well, I guess a little. Calling me a hero. It's kind of embarrassing. I didn't call you a hero. It is a good thing Iris was saved. But he's still irritating. Even more irritating than seeing cosplay in public. Forget me. Are you okay? You passed out last night. Yeah, I'm fine. I feel much better after a good night's sleep. It sounded like you were having a nightmare. You kept moaning something about... Reika... Reika... Seriously? Seriously. No. Just what I told you yesterday. All right. You know, if you weren't in the hospital, I would slap you upside the head so hard you start remembering things again. Like shock therapy? Whoa, old school. I thought Abyss was more future tech than that. We are, but if it ain't broke, you can learn a lot from the past. I see. Maybe you should hit him. No, no. No way. Ota's pretty energetic for being in bed all day. He's the type that gets annoying around women. So, we still don't know who the culprit is? If you remember anything at all, please, tell me. Well, maybe that all depends. If you could get me, say, Tessa's toothbrush, it might jog my memory. Are you really going to do this in front of Mizuki? It's fine. Mizuki proofreads the light novels I write. I'm sure she's used to it by now. What are you making her read? Lots of things, like... W wait, Mizuki! You don't have to tell him! Yeah, let's go. Wait! You two just got here! It's okay. We saw you. Now we can go. <sighs> we already have Ota's testimony. It is unlikely he has any further useful information. Right. Where to now, Date? Hmm. Let's see. So that's the situation. I see. Someone with an injured left leg, huh? Hey, Date, are you ever gonna eat those leftovers you're keeping in the fridge? I'll get to it. Shut up. Hey, Date. You remind me of bar stools sometimes. The stool part, anyway. I see that Mizuki is still capable of being childish at times. What do you get after malting, milling, mashing, lautering, boiling, and fermenting? Um... 
beer? Hey, Date, honey. Wanna see some half-naked men hugging on the ground? Don't describe it like that. You're talking about sumo wrestling, right? Hey, Date, I see Caprese on the blackboard. What is that? It's a portmanteau for couples are crazy. It's a kind of salad. A while back, there used to be a detective who fought crime with hangers. No one gets that reference. No, I am. You sure? You still look a little scared. A little? Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> scaredy cat. Hmm, <laughs> laughing at me. Yeah, because it was funny. I'm going to expose your browser history. What? Seven ways to take home a cabaret girl. Three minutes with a married woman. Stop, stop! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, not at all. I see gay people on TV all the time, so it's not weird to me. The LGBT community is rich in sensibility, has excellent taste, and is full of talented artistic people. And they share a common struggle. It makes them more sensitive and capable of sympathy. That's why so many of them are kind and caring. And they choose how to live their lives on their own terms. It means they have a strong backbone. So because of all that, I really respect them. They're even kind of cool. And that means you too, Mama. Oh, I love it. Bravo. Six million yen to you. You can transfer it to my account. Hey, Mizuki, what's inside that backpack you always have on you? Why? I'm just curious. Well, water, dehydrated bread, chocolate, biscuits, a flashlight, a hand charger, Swiss Army knife, a candle, matches, triangular badges, a first aid kit, whistle, portable toilet, a plastic bag, duct tape, a grenade, a magnet, disposable hand warmers... Do you have an entire disaster relief kit in your bag? Better safe than sorry. I'm ready for anything. Perhaps I misheard, but wasn't there an illegal item in there? Right, the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, I'll look the other way. I never got to tell you, but I think she's very cute. I could just eat her up. Um, okay. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. I only really want to eat men. <gasps> Dot! 
Ate, what are you making me say? You said that on your own. Oh, come on. Isn't a gentleman supposed to cover for a lady's slip of the tongue? Who is the lady Mama is referring to? Don't ask me. I've looked into it, but I still don't have anything useful for you. The case is still as fresh as a young man's juices. What does that mean? I have no idea. Sorry, no idea. Damn. I thought you of all people would know something. I am an informant, but really dangerous information doesn't just come rolling in here. But I promise, I'll keep my eye out for anything. Please do. And if I find something, you have to take a bath with me. Absolutely not. Oh, why not? Because you take up all the hot water. That's your issue? I promise I won't. I'll even take the costume off. It's a costume? Mm-hmm. And I look good without it. Thanks for the chat, Mama. Oh, leaving already? I have an investigation to finish, but I'll be back. You are so impatient, even though you take your time in bed. Don't say things like that. In bed? What does that mean? You don't need to know. Let's go. to the hospital? Exactly. I can put it on speaker. Please. Date, are you with Mizuki right now? Yes, what's up? I need you to come to Abyss headquarters with Mizuki. I was just heading there. Did something happen? Yeah, the head office is here. They want to get information from Mizuki. We here at Abyss have her testimony. But the rest of the MPD wants to hear from her. They didn't get anything from her last time. They want to do an official questioning. This order comes straight from the top. We don't have the power to say no. So, please. You heard her. I don't want to. I want to keep investigating. There's nothing we can do. We can't fight the power of the state. You are the power of the state. Abyss is a toenail on the foot of the state. As far as they're concerned, we don't really do anything, and we don't have any say in what they do. And any time we get too troublesome, they cut us off. Why? Oh, stupid Date.
Sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just a slave to you anyway. Oh, come on. I don't treat you like a slave, do I? Just because I sometimes make you lick between my toes? Ew, what? I didn't lick anything. Anyway, thanks, Date. And don't worry about Mizuki. I told HQ to take it easy. Mizuki, just make sure you behave and listen. It'll be over soon, don't worry. Besides that, Date, there's something I have to tell you. You have a message from one of the inspectors at the warehouse. Kagari, Magami, something like that. Kaniza? Oh, yeah, that's it. A message from Kaniza. He wants to give you some information in person at the warehouse. Could he have... The blood results? I'll head over right away. Mizuki, you be a good girl, okay? Ugh. Date, sorry to make you come all the way down here, but I have the results of the DNA analysis. What did you find? It's just like you said, there were two different blood signatures. One is definitely from Oda Matsushita. The other... Huh? Well, we got the results, but we couldn't find any matches in our database. That is not surprising. HQ does not have a complete record of everyone's DNA. What now? What now? Do not panic. I have a piece of information I think you should know. What is it? I have discovered a suspicious person at your 12 o'clock. 200 yards. He's looking this way. Person? This guy? Oh, little Date. Time for your medication. I said 200 yards ahead! Where are you looking? Not there. Does that look like a person? You're right. There's someone there. But I'm not close enough to tell. Sejima. I don't believe it. His left leg. Huh? So Sejima! Stop! Those the culprit. Calm down. We cannot yet make that conclusion. He was only dragging his left leg. But he's been all over this case so far. 
Shoko and Renju are both in bed with the Kumakuras. And the Kumakuras know so. And not just that. We saw him in Iris' Somnia. Still. And he has no alibi. No alibi for Shoko, Renju, or the warehouse. Date, calm down. The only thing we have so far is circumstantial evidence. We also do not have any established motive. Why would he kill Shoko and Renju? Why would he cut out Iris's eyeball? Well... However... I do agree that So is suspicious. Do you agree with me or not? I am explaining to you that we currently do not have enough evidence to bring him in. Confronting him now would only result in him denying everything. We need direct evidence. Direct evidence? The criminal's blood from the cold storage warehouse. If the DNA matches So's... Right! We need to get So's DNA. The question is, how? everywhere. But it will not be easy to get inside. He has hired bodyguards as well. I checked their database. So Sajima has never received medical treatment at that hospital. We would not find So's DNA there. What would you be looking for at Lemnisgate? So has no connection to the entertainment office. All right. Hey, Iba. Do you remember when we went to the Kumakura's office Sunday? Of course. I am incapable of forgetting anything. Then let me ask you a question. What was on the table in front of the sofa? The cigarette butts. So was smoking those cigarettes. Exactly. And So's saliva might still be on the butts. If we have that, we have So's DNA. Wait a moment. That was two days ago. The ashtray must have been emptied by now. But there's a chance. We have to at least try. Hmm. I agree. Alright, let's head there. Hey, what are you doing here? You fucking with us, old man? Date, don't bother. I know. Hey, where are the cigarette butts that were in here? Huh? The cigarette butts, from when I was here a few days ago. We threw them away, of course, dumbass. Where, dumbass? Uh, 
Why do you care about some cigarettes? I need them for the investigation of the new Cyclops serial killings. I see. Just last morning, I heard there was a new victim. I didn't watch it, but I heard something about it being streamed online. Poor girl got one of her eyes cut out. I know that, idiot. Sorry. And you're here for the investigation? Yes. So if I cooperate, he'll help you arrest this guy? Correct. All right. Look around as much as you want. Huh? That was easy. You said you were looking for cigarette butts, right? Yeah, the one So was smoking. So Sejima? You think he did it? No, nothing for sure yet. Hey guys, where's the cigarettes that were in here? Probably in the trash in the back, boss. Bring me the one that So was smoking. Yes, sir. I didn't touch him. I'm being considerate, I see. But why did you bring four? There were a couple of other cigarette butts in the bin. I didn't know which one so smoked. MoMA? I don't remember. But so cigarette is definitely one of these? Yeah, it's gotta be. Date, remember the brand that so was smoking? Right, he was smoking. Mamas? You do not sound confident. Yeah, you're right. Let me think. Romba Rose? No. It was not a Romba I've got it. It was a rookie. I am absolutely sure it was a rookie. Do you have the brain of a hippopotamus? Get it together, Date. Wait a minute. You said it wasn't a Rombaro? Yes. Does that mean you know the correct answer? You know, don't you? So you're testing me. You are really unlikable sometimes. Just hurry up and choose the correct cigarette. Klein. I remember. So was smoking a Klein cigarette. Correct. Let's return to Abyss. Pewter should be able to get DNA from it. Got it. Looks like you found it. Yeah, thanks to you. Ah, this was nothing. Anything for Tessa. Tessa? Did you just say Tessa? What, what are you talking about, you Neanderthal? I said anything for Tesseract. That doesn't even make sense. Shut up! If you're done here, get your ass going. <laughs> All right, whatever you say. I'm counting on you, Pewter. You can leave it to me. If the DNA on that cigarette butt matches the blood stain in the warehouse, there would be no doubt that So Sejima is our mysterious polar bear. How long will it take to analyze? Hmm, 
if I had six hours... You've got three. <laughs> That's totally unreasonable. But I suppose... I will do my best to have this analyzed in three hours. You folded pretty easily on that one. I want to catch the criminal as soon as possible. That's all. Now, because time is of the essence... Excuse me. How is Mizuki, by the way? They finished questioning her. I had one of the officers take her home. She should be there by now. Good. So, Sejima. I can't believe it, of all people. We don't know that for sure yet. But you saw that his leg was injured, right? It's pretty damning evidence. Don't be too hasty, boss. You were saying the same thing earlier. Anyway, let's wait for the results. That will clear everything up. Yeah, you're right. I hope this won't be trouble. Trouble? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hmm? Computer, is it true? The results are in? Yes. The DNA I collected from the cigarette butt is a positive match to the bloodstain from the warehouse. Really? It was so all along. He was the polar bear. He carved out Iris's eye and stabbed Oda. And probably killed Renju and Shoko. Making So Sejima the new Cyclops killer. Thank you, Pewter. Don't thank me yet. Hurry up and get So. Yeah, you're right. Boss. Boss, listen. The blood stain in the cold storage warehouse. I know. I got a report from Pewter. Well, then you already know. I'm heading there right now. Heading where? Where else? To So's house. Date, I'm sorry, but you can't do that. What? I can't let you get so. Boss, I don't understand. This comes from the top. So and the head office have been tightening it for 20 years now. They can't go against So's wishes. It's corruption and bribes to be sure, but there's also some kind of blackmail. Blackmail? So knows something. Something that the public can never know. If that secret got out, the authority of law would be thrown into question and the entire police force would be at risk. So has something on HQ? Yes, almost certainly. That's why I can't let you go. Do you understand? Hell no. I see. Then I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to take you off this case. Hey, boss, come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me! Date, are you sure you want to do this? You still have a chance to turn around. If you put your hands on So, you will never be able to return to Abyss. I don't care. I don't want to work for a rotten organization in the pocket of some politician. When this is over, I'll open a restaurant in Okinawa or something. Wait! Oh, should I make it a soba place instead? That's not what I mean. You have a video message. A video? Look! <sighs> Mizuki! Shit! <laughs> 